then for the first time you look around and the beauty of nature is revealed. Then you listen to the harmony of the universe, the symphony of the stars. Then everything starts to become more and more beautiful. Layers and layers of beauty are revealed. Your eyes have a penetrating force. Wherever you look, you go deep. Even in rocks, you feel flowers blossom. In my lifelong pursuit of fun, I've played with many materials. Whether it be rocks, sand, sticks, pumpkins, or clay, I've trained my mind to see the opportunity and expose the magic. just play with the materials. I also love to play with ideas, to mold thoughts, to weave stories, to extract from the chaos and make something from nothing. Inspired by nature and collaborate with her often. trees to wicked scarecrows I'm not afraid to play in the dark But what I'm most known for are my pumpkins. With over two decades of playing with pumpkins under my belt, I don't hesitate to experiment. Because there's magic to be had everywhere, even in the mishaps. Whether I'm adding potato and carrot eyes, or stitching two different pumpkins together, I'll always figure out a way to squeeze and squish out a little bit more magic. Don't stop at the carving. I'm not satisfied until the whole world I've created comes to life. Which brings me to something I've been dreaming about. Overcoming the elephant in the room. Why haven't I made a movie? I guess you can say I've been in sort of a chess match with myself. Me against me. On the one hand, I know what I'm capable of, but the stepping into it can be a bit overwhelming. So despite having an elephant of self-doubt looming over me, I remind myself that if my art has taught me anything, it's all about being present and staying focused on the process. Fortunately for me, I got this pachyderm in checkmate. 
I spent many years imagining the characters I created coming to life, and ironically, I'm kind of grateful for that elephant. He forced me to slow down and focus, allowing for me to discover all the details within the world I was creating. It's not like I didn't know where I was heading, and the journey here has been nothing short of amazing. That being said, there's plenty of work to do. The world could really use some magic. Exposing and sharing that magic seems to be my life's purpose. As a result, I'll be shifting my focus towards the creation of an annual Halloween short. And that's just the beginning. I didn't come this far to not make a movie. And boy do I have a good one that's been brewing in my head. Rather than building the sets from scratch, I'll be moving my entire studio and permanently settling into a ghost town. Vulture City. Built in 1863, it supported Arizona's largest gold mine. I'm not after the gold. I'll be mining magic. I'm Ray Villafane, sculptor and storyteller. That was awesome!